hi everyone uh, myself dr manjunatha singh working as an assistant professor in the department of chemistry rv college of engineering bangalore india in this video i would like to discuss about one of the widely used uh, the thermosetting polymer the most commercialized thermosetting polymer which is sold under the name of araldite chemically it is called epoxy resin or it is also called diglycidine bisphenol a uh, its synthesis properties and its applications will be discussed uh, in this video what are thermosets thermosets as name suggests upon these are the polymers which on heating change irreversibly they become hard rigid infusible material upon heating however once they become hard rigid and infusible uh, uh, state it cannot be converted back uh, easily or it, it is permanent damage permanent effect to that polymeric uh, material uh, why it becomes hard and rigid and in uh, and, uh, rigid uh, polymeric material is because uh, they, that polymers will have some extensive uh, functional groups and reacted functional groups upon heating they form 3d cross linking between uh, uh, different polymer chains a permanent uh, chemical bonding 3d chemical bonding is going to form upon heating so because of that it forms hard rigid mass upon heating just by cooling you cannot reverse that and it is uh, it's not possible to reverse that material like how we do in case of thermoplastics in case of thermoplastic upon heating they become soft and uh, flexible uh, upon cooling they will come back to its original state but thermosets will not uh, once they become hard and rigid upon heating it cannot be converted back to original state uh, in that polymer the 3d network structure is rigid and does not soften on heating the thermo uh, polymers once it is been molded into any shape it cannot be made into another form in this video i would like to discuss about the very important uh, uh, thermosetting polymer that is called resin uh, which is most uh, mostly uh, most commercialized thermosetting uh, resin that is called epoxy resin it is also called diglycidine bisphenol a it is also or dge ba the expansion of uh, the abbreviation of this expansion and it is also sold in the name of araldite the epoxy resins are also called poly epoxides because they have epoxy groups these polymers will have epoxy functional groups the epoxy resins are class linked either with themselves through catalytic homo polymerization or with a wide range of co reactants including amines acids anhydrides phenols alcohols thiols etc because of this nature it has a very good adhesive nature and uh, whatever the co reactants that i mentioned here they often behaves as adders or curatives and the catalyst for cross linking reaction these cured epoxy resins have very high very good mechanical property and they are very re uh, resistant to high temperature and also resistant to chemicals let us look at the preparation of epoxy resin epoxy resin or uh, dgeba it's also called araldite is prepared by using two different monomers one is bisphenol a and another one is epichlorohydrin the uh, upsc name of this epichlorohydrin is 1 2 3 this is this is actually the functional group this is a side group therefore we number this from this end 1 2 3 so for third carbon it is attached to chlorine therefore 3 chloro 1 comma 2 the epoxy group is present between the two carbon atom first and second 3 chloro 1 comma 2 epoxy propane it is also called epichlorohydrin this is one monomer and the another monomer is uh, bisphenol a this was also used in uh, 
polycarbonate as one of the monomer. Here also we are using. So this bisphenol E in, uh, in the presence of uh, NaOH, it undergo uh, condensation polymerization with epichlorohydrin, leading to the formation of epoxy resin. This is called. This is the repeating unit uh, that we observe in the epoxy resin or DGE, BR, or aldehyde. Diglycidyl group is. Uh, we call this as a diglycidyl because of the presence of glycol group. This is CHOH and CH2O. So because of two oxygen attached to two neighboring carbons, we, we call it as a diglycidyl groups. Diglycidyl bisphenol A is also called epoxy resin. And uh, if you oh, see the other part, other than this repeating unit, this will have some one uh, which is epoxy groups which are yet to react. These are the epoxy group. This epoxy polymer chain ends will have the epoxy groups, the number of epoxy groups, and the presence of OH group uh, helps this to behave as uh, a glue. this has a glue and adhesive properties because of the presence of epoxy group and OH group and uh, uh, these functional groups. Okay, this is another uh, slide showing the reactions in the NaOH medium, it forms. Uh, this uh, phenol uh, oxide ion here, a yeah, oxide that will undergo here. This bond will break down electrolytically, and uh, oxygen will get minus. Both electrons are shifted to this oxygen. Oxygen will get minus, and this will form carbocation. This carbocation is substituted by this O minus, and this H plus will form a bond with uh, oxygen oxide ion, and it forms OH. This forms a OH, and the phenoxide ion is going to attach this carbocation. Resulting in the formation of uh, epic, sorry, what is that? Epoxy resin. This is the oxygen structure of epoxy resin, which is showing the presence of uh, epoxy groups, alcohol group, and as well as epoxy group. Okay, so these are cured by adding uh, this epoxies are actually the ends of the epoxy polymer chain, uh, as I told you, as I told you in the previous uh, uh, reaction. This has epoxy groups on both the ends. Because of them, uh, they are cured by adding some uh, amines, aromatic compounds containing amines, like amine groups. Amine groups uh, reacts with uh, these epoxy groups. Epoxy group, see how it is reacting. This OH is attaching to a next group. H2, this nitrogen is getting linked to O of this and O of this. And they are forming cross linking. This is how they cross link, these uh, curing agents. They also use Novolac uh, is also cured by using this epoxy resin. This is another uh, anhydride. This in the presence of some aromatic compound can be cured, cross-linked by using this epoxy resin. Epoxy resin is uh, cross-linking in the presence of all these uh, uh, reactants. So these are the curing agents they generally use uh, uh, along with the epoxy resin when they are using that as adhesive. So this is just a comparison of uh, properties of epoxy with polyester. Polyester has a good addition, but epoxy has a very high, excellent, and shear strength, excellent, fatic resistant, excellent, as compared to polyester. This uh, epoxy is showing a very good property, creep resistance, moderate to good, toughness, good. Thermal, uh, the, however, polyester is having poor toughness. Electrical resistance, very high, epoxy, but this is moderate. Water, moderate water absorb, water resistance, moderate solvent resistance, good, but polyester is slightly reacting. UV resistance, moderate. So cost is also moderate. Therefore, the epoxy is uh, being used in uh, many applications as adhesive. Okay, this is uh, the epoxy, and they are also mixing uh, with uh, curing agents for any applications. It's used for. Uh, uh, as adhesive uh, in case of cable joints, underground cable joints, because it can be, uh, it is water resistant, and uh, for furniture joints and floorings, wood floorings and all, they are going to give uh, coating, epoxy coatings, and uh, it is uh, widely nowadays widely used in uh, uh, jewelries like pendants they make. Uh, it's been used. Uh, these are all uh, pendants designed by epoxy resins uh, for wood uh, finishings, floor coatings, glass coatings, etc. 
and also for tooth joints and all they use. This is the pie chart showing uh, uh, the epoxy resin being used in various industries, electronics about 27%, adhesives 6%, construction, composite materials, coatings. You can see that maximum it is being used for coatings, paints and uh, pigments and also for surface, surface coatings. Uh, this is the graphical representation of uh, uh, the epoxy resin market. US epoxy resin market uh, predicted up to 2024. From 2014 to 2024, all of it has been increased, the consumption and also its demand. This represents uh, the importance of this epoxy resin. So with this, I'm concluding this topic. Uh, for any questions or clarifications, uh, please email me using uh, uh, this email IDs. Thank you very much for watching this uh, uh, discussion.